What is going on XRP Army? If you loaded up your bag in the last couple of days, you, my friend, are goaded. And you know why? Because we go down to about 50 cents, we're having this downward pressure, this downward momentum because of the SEC's appeal of this Ripple Labs decision from Judge Annalisa Torres on August the 7th and the $125 million penalty. Now, there's not clarity at this point about what the appeal entails and what the SEC is entirely looking for, just that they've appealed the August 7 ruling. Now, with that being the case, let's talk about a few of these little pieces that are not in place. And if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. Now, on Friday, you and I, we had this conversation, or on Saturday, I suppose, we had this conversation about what to expect from this SEC appeal. Let me summarize, because it turns out I was completely right about almost everything that we were going over and that we were finding. And now, let's check it out from Binance. So in Binance Square, the SEC has appealed Judge Torres' decision. Uh, XRP enthusiasts on X shared that the SEC and Ripple might reach a settlement within 14 days uh, to follow the SEC's notice of appeal. I think we're dreaming on that one. But what happens is uh, they speculate the SEC's appeal was motivated by a desire to increase the initial $125 million penalty. Now, we don't have clarity. We don't know exactly what it is that the appeal was regarding. Now, the SEC and Ripple can reach a settlement within that 14-day period. Now, that is exactly what was said. However, this is where SEC retired lawyer Mark Fagel came in and said this would be the penalty amount. And he said that they had already pursued an interlocutory appeal over uh, programmatic sales a year ago showing consistency in their approach when asked if there's any room for a settlement he said that it's a theoretical possibility but there's no reasonable basis to expect one in this interest that they want clarity for their purposes going forward on whether the sale of um, assets to consumers from the original source not you and me trading or not coinbase buying and trading none of that but but the original sale of what they call a security, and in this case, XRP, from Ripple Labs originally to retail is considered a security because they disagree fundamentally that that is what it is, okay? They think that that created a security because it's an investment contract with consumers. Judge Annalisa Torres said, no, it is not, but it is when it's a business. So that's where the clarity needs to come, and we haven't seen a fleshed out uh, response from the SEC. They have 14 days to finish the filing on this appeal. So we'll know at some point pretty soon exactly what it is. We'll get clarity and clarification. Now, the next thing is Bill Morgan responded to a tweet clarifying the SEC has only filed a notice of appeal, not a formal appeal. That's what we're waiting for. We've got two weeks for that. This indicates that the SEC may still negotiate with Ripple and potentially reach a settlement before moving forward with a formal appeal. Now, that is a Again, a low probability, but a probability. And it could be that the SEC and Ripple are going after a different amount, a little bit higher than the $125 million, and that might be enough to satiate, if you will, the giant that is the SEC. But listen, I don't think that I don't think this is likely, and I think this is very important. Ripple feels like they've won. If they give up more money then what they're doing is admitting that some of what the SEC, this is no longer about nuisance. $125 is the nuisance fee at this point. And I don't think that the, that Ripple Labs is ready to just give the SEC more money to make something go away because I think now it's about clarity. So just buckle up because I think that we're not going to see a settlement. We're, we're going to see a fight here. I don't see any other path forward. However, here's the great part. I don't think this fight's going to matter. He added that while the SEC and Ripple could settle on certain appeal points, Ripple might also consider a cross-appeal challenging issues like the injunction and institutional sales. Morgan believes the SEC's primary appeal target is programmatic sales, in line with former SEC lawyer Mark Fagel's perspective, but added the SEC might include challenges related to the penalties and disgorgement. So we don't know the answer yet. We're speculating entirely. We'll see what happens very, very soon. But here's where it gets interesting and very, very important, and this really is just the world telling you what I've already told you. The XRP ETF hopes after uh, SEC appeal depend on the US election. Now, here's the other part to this. Now, one thing that I do wanna say is, um, if you ask me who I'm voting for, 
it's he who shall be nameless. I've made a decision that cryptocurrency is paramount to my vote. And that's the guy that I think is going to be best for cryptocurrency mass adoption, especially for the next four years. However, Mark Cuban has come out repeatedly saying that it is his belief that no matter whether um, uh, he who shall remain nameless wins or um, Kamala Harris wins, Either way, Gary Gensler is out. That Gary Gensler's got to go. Even Kamala Harris' team agrees that Gary Gensler is a problem. Now, that doesn't mean, however, and this is important, does not mean that she supports cryptocurrency. Now, it is important to note that she has made comments positive, and really press releases, positive of digital assets. Not come from her. It's come from her staff and her people. So I'm not confident in any of this, which is why my vote which I think matters, is still for he who shall remain nameless, okay? It is important to recognize that even though they say they're looking for digital assets, Liz Warren and those seedy, scummy people, they're still out there and they're still doing that shady stuff that they do. So I don't really have any respect for this, but I also understand that it really doesn't matter who the president is. We've had bull runs under Barack Obama. We've had bull runs under he who shall be nameless. Uh, we had bull runs under uh, the, the old, the super, super old guy. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, it, we've had bull runs under every president. It doesn't matter. The bull run is irrelevant. how high we go, I think, is what matters. And it is my belief that should he who shall remain nameless become president, then we go from 175 to 250,000. Uh, if... Uh, she is the president, 175 to 200,000. I think we have a bigger upside with, with one over the other. But here's the important part where it comes to XRP. Um, this could all just die out because we decide as a society here, no matter who's president, that the person who's personally attacking cryptocurrency, you know, the friend of the Bankman Freeds, the one that didn't catch that one, but caught all the other ones who were not committing crimes, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Debtbox, anyone? Uh, Coinbase, anyone? Uh, we, you know, we've got an attack on cryptocurrency coming from the highest level, most likely directed and, and brought about by Elizabeth Warren. And look, you, you can, by the way, we should be able to, to, to acknowledge that, um, you know, Ross Ulbricht, we should be able to acknowledge all of these things that, yeah, there's problems in cryptocurrency, that, that money from cryptocurrency is used uh, or, or has been used for illicit purposes. So is the U.S. dollar. The biggest threat uh, for, the, for the illegal economy in the world uh, or the biggest benefactor is the U.S. dollar. Make no mistake about it. Um, uh, you're, you're the the quote unquote dealers and all the people around the world. That's how they settle it. Uh, they might be using Bitcoin because it's fancy and new, but they settle in the U.S. dollar. Uh, so you know, don't stop falling for those um, wild diatribes by Joe Kahanis. They're not real. What's real here is this. Um, this huge variable here is important. It doesn't matter. And, and this, this is important right here. Uh, Eric Bakunis, uh, senior ETF analyst at Bloomberg, said that the ETF approval uh, is probably more closely tied to the outcome of the forthcoming U.S. election than to court cases. He said on October 2nd that if Democratic candidate Kamala Harris wins the election, there is a near zero possibility that the XRP ETF will be approved. On the other hand, pro-crypto Republican candidate Donald Trump's victory would mean anything is possible, including a significant influx of other altcoin ETFs filings. He added, if Trump wins, we could see other coins as ETF, in my opinion. And that's about as, as close to correct as you might get here. And this is why I have concerns about Kamala Harris and what she would actually do. Again, Again, Mark Cuban is not part of her administration. He doesn't know. He might have had conversations and he've had people maybe say that he, you know, but we don't know yet. So uh, bear that in mind as we're, we're doing this. So um, um, it is important to note that there is some concern over here. Now let's look at price action real quick. And you can see here, we've had a nice little recovery up to 54 cents and it looks like a continuation is coming. The market starting to get a little bit of a rip, get a, bit, a little bit of a move after uh, a pretty uh, dampening sort of few days here. Now I, I suspect that what we're happening, what's happening right here is exactly what I explained to you guys on Saturday. Uh, it is playing out. What we're seeing is a move up into probably 60 cents as the range. And then we'll see po potentially a breakout from there. Now it will 
will take a few days to get there. It will take a few days for the election, but we're going to have some clarity very, very soon, and we'll know exactly what's going on from there. I won't get too deep into the weeds here, but again, I would suspect that most likely we're going to see a move up into this range right here, uh, around 56 cents, and then boom, we're going to get back into that 60 cents range. I don't think this matters at any point. Uh, I think that the breakout is imminent. So um, again, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit you follow the like button, uh, hit it down here, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Well, that's it, guys. That's your XRP update. Um, just be watching for the appeal. The appeal is what's going to matter. And if it's a great appeal, and if you see uh, good things in this appeal, then and it and it doesn't say that we're disagreeing fundamentally with some of the the sharper points of the knife, if you will, then go long, baby. Uh, if it is that they're going to fight and they're going to be standoffish short for a little short period of time anyway because once we get to that election no matter what gary gensler he is out the end yeah he is out i'm sure now what how that affects uh, xrp that remains to be seen let me know what you think in the comments down below and remember this is not financial advice but i'm always right from now until November 1st, if you make a deposit of $1,000 at cryptonomy.finance, you will get a random bonus of between $50 and $5,000. Also, guys, if you have anything that you don't understand about cryptonomy, then I do special research articles on this platform. So if you are interested, you can come check them out. And if you have a question about any of these projects, then there is an opportunity here for you to learn about some of the cryptocurrencies, especially Aerodrome or Carve or something like that. You know, I've got a lot of staking going on right here. I've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether all coming up to be unstaked very, very shortly. So join me in this, reap the rewards like I'm reaping. And folks, don't forget, not only is Cryptonomy a robust staking platform, but it's also a venture fund. So if you want to apply, you can do that in the research section. Apply today.